Hey everyone, I'm Davin, sales executive here at Kirkham Iron Tech. And today I'm here with our founder and CEO, Tom Kirkham. Now, Tom, I, I do have a, an, you could say it's an easy question today, uh, but it's simply who is to blame? Who is to blame for uh, a successful cyber attack? That's a great question. And, you know, the, the way these things attack is usually somebody's conned in your mm -hmm. company or in your home, you know, it doesn't matter you. And uh, a lot of times I see managers or owners or whatever, they want to blame whoever opened the malicious file attachment, mm -hmm. or they want to blame the IT staff. And the reality of it is, is if you don't treat cybersecurity as a serious investment in your company, then users are going to open malicious file attachments because they haven't gotten any training on how to identify it, how to be. They don't know any better. Yeah. Yeah. To even even seriously take that a cyber attack can happen to anyone, and that that is absolutely true. It's not just the big guys. In fact, most of them are small guys by far. The research says that it's at least half, but I know that the majority of them go underreported in small organizations. Oh, 100%. And uh, so if you don't provide cybersecurity awareness training, you don't treat it seriously, uh, people are using poor security hygiene, you don't even have, if you don't have password complexity and uniqueness policies in place, you know, everyone's using the same password for everything, that's not their fault. You, hit, you just simply haven't provided them with the tools to protect your your customers and your company and all the stakeholders of your organization. And sometimes it's even bigger than that. So, uh, you know, we, we all read that article last week. And I forgot where it was published. So forgive me, whoever wrote that article, <laughs> but uh, their basic quote is if manage, if management did not prepare the end user or give them proper tools to prevent a cyber attack, then the fault is management. The buck stops with you. And that's a new way of thinking. That's not common. Well, it is if the culture is right. That's you know, what it if is. You've got, a, you've got a toxic culture that if every time something goes wrong, when somebody's simply trying to do their job um, and, and you just blame them. Uh, and, and this is a broad, you know, broad. Of course. Uh, assertion. Uh, not always, you know, uh, but more by far more often than not, it doesn't, it's not even IT and cybersecurity. It's a lot of different things. Uh, and you but, mentioned it, but it's frustrating. You get a cyber attack and you're not prepared for it and you don't have a team ready to respond to it. That's anxiety. And when you've got a lot of anxiety, uh, you're not going to make clear decisions. If you're prepared for it, you've got a skilled security team already engaged you're probably not going to have a cybersecurity attack, a successful one anyway. You know, there, there's no secrets. If you watch any of our videos, you, you know, I lay it out. This is what you got to have in place. Uh, you, but you got to start with the risk assessment and see where you are. Find yes, what your and abilities are. To bring into light, it's literally like sending your, uh, it's like going to war, but giving your soldiers a toothpick. You're setting them up for fair, fulfill for failure. Uh, they don't have the proper tools to be as successful as they can be. And I do want to touch on one thing. You mentioned culture. Um, and we talk a lot about creating a security first culture. Uh, and the reality is creating and having a security first culture uh, is almost required. And if not now will be in the next years to have a successful uh, business. Because it will be required by regulations and laws. I mean, exactly it, right. it, I mean, we it, just think about what's changed just in the last year. All sorts of industries have been affected. Some that you would never the imagine other. that have, have to be in compliance because of new regulations around cybersecurity. And it's not going to change. It's just accelerating these compliance. They're getting into everything. So, yes. but yeah, that that's uh, th that's why we spend a lot of time talking about management and leadership when it comes, especially to cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. Now, and if uh, you have questions about creating a, a security first culture, or if you want to learn more, feel free to reach out. 
Uh, we do episodes like this every single week. And so if you have a topic that uh, you want to learn more about or you have questions that you want answered, feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to talk about them. Look forward to talking to you all soon.